Screen Team Media. I made a very passionate case to Suzanne that um, there were versions of her book as a movie that she could really hate and that would end up being sort of guilty of the crimes of the Capitol. There's a version of the movie in which you sort of stylize and glamorize the violence in which the movie becomes, say, becomes the Hunger Games, becomes guilty of the, the sins of the Capitol. And then in fact, you know, um, an ethical version of the movie needed to be made and needed to be uh, safeguarded. And I felt very passionately about doing that and felt very confident that I could do that. And so I was able to win her over. I felt that Suzanne had really pulled off a very difficult task in the book. Um, to walk that razor's edge where the book, it's a page turner. It's entertaining. There's no getting around the fact that you can't put it down. It's great storytelling, but it is never exploitive and it is always honorable. And I think that it pulls that off because of it is so rooted in Katniss's point of view, because it is her experience of the world and her character's way of seeing everything that unfolds and her journey. I felt that that was so deftly achieved that there was no way I would have felt confident in achieving it in a film without the guidance of, of Suzanne. Jen Lawrence plays Katniss, and um, from early on, she was somebody we had our eye on because she'd been in Winter's Bone, in which she delivered incredible performance as a young person forced to take responsibility for her family and forced to endure, um, you know, a sort of intense, epic um, quest. Uh, in the backwoods of the Ozarks, and she, that gave an incredible performance in that movie. So she was somebody we had certainly on our radar. But when we started to audition people, she really stole the role. Gary Ross is um, not just a director, but a writer-director, which I think is a very important distinction for this movie. Um, getting this book right was such a big, big responsibility. And um, I was actually in London making another movie and Gary got on a plane and flew out to see me. And we had known each other from other things but had never worked together this way. <clears throat> and we sat down and we had a two hour meal in which you know his understanding of the themes and the characters and the balancing act of how it is that Katniss's point of view is the heart and soul of this movie was just so spot on. We have spectacular sets that range from, you know, recreating District 12. Um, we've been all over North Carolina. Um, we recreated, you know, District 12. We recreated The Hob. Um, you know, we had amazing forest sets that we used, um, you know, out in, um, you know, the Asheville area where we were, had found locations that you couldn't believe how right they were for the book. They have in store great original storytelling, um, a very bold visual style that Gary has adopted, which I think is unconventional and will surprise a lot of people. Um, he has not played it safe at all. He's taken a lot of risks. Um, I think that they have great acting to look forward to.